kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to teach you how you can use the in-app update feature in your Android applications. All right. So basically, when the user uh, install your app and he uses it, and if there is an any update of your application on the Google Play Store, then you can. Uh, ask the user to automatically update and it the user will be able to see a, a dialog and the, the user can update the app within the app okay so here you can see i already have the image let me show you this one okay so basically we will have a library uh, which is the play core mm -hmm. library and it will have two of the options either for the flexible update or the immediate update so the flexible update means that the the user will be able to see a dialog and he can update the app meanwhile he can use the app okay so basically it will be a, a, a background update of the application but for the immediate update we the user will not be able to use the application and the ui will be blocked okay so it depends on you on which of these two will you will are going to use so here uh, so first of all what you have to do is you have to include this library which i have found and it is a very good library for the in app updates so so you have to first of all include the the, the dependency for the android in app update and after this you have to go to your main activity or the first activity which your on which your application opens okay so in in my case so it is the main activity so first of all we need to uh, implement some interfaces so first interface is the in app app update manager and this uh, dot in app update handler okay so we have to you Im implement this and then we have to use the in app update manager so what you are going to do is you are going to first of all provide the activity context to this uh, in app update manager manager dot builder and you can pass any value here then you can say dot re resume updates and you have to make it to true then you can say dot or dot mod and you can say constant dot update mod dot flexible and then you can print a snack bar a snack bar then you can uh, have any message here and then you can set the action to uh, for the button restart so so when the application is updated then it has to be restarted okay and finally we can say in app update manager dot check for app update so every time your application will run it will check for the update if the update is available then the, the user will be able to see the dialog so it has these two override methods in app update error and in on in app update status so for the status part if the update is downloaded you have to ask the user to confirm and complete the update so we have to here check if the status is downloaded it means that if the application is downloaded then we can update the message and you can see we have used the snack bar so make sure that you use the material design library since i am using android x uh, sdk version 29 so for this we can use the snack bar and then we can say the snack bar dot set action and we can have a text here like update and we can simply say dot or we can say restart okay so that's how it works and the in-app update i can show you the i the the, the the dialogue design so when you open this uh, developer dot android dot com and there you go so this is the image that you are going to see update the and the up your update app name and there will be uh, two buttons either to update or there is uh, no things all right and the app update the app will be updated in the background 
so that's how it will work so you don't need to write all these codes here since we already have, have managed to write the very simple code here alright so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye